The Hillside Golf Course at Brentwood Golf Club. Probably the most interesting course at the property. The first hole, if you miss right, you're hitting a house. So the, the line you want to take, if you look, you can see how the houses are super exposed. Go with that hill, and then your ball is going to run out, and you're going to have 100 yards. But don't make the mistake I made where you play to the middle of the green because then you're going to be in trouble because watch what happened. I hit a good shot online, hit that slope, and went all the way back down and then got super penalized for it. So once again, a theme of Brentwood Golf Club, you need specific yardages or else you're going to get that, a three putt, which is kind of a bummer because I hit a good drive and a good approach, but then it's just like I gave myself a really hard shot in. Not a very good swing there. This pitch, it almost went in the hole, but it actually ran out. I thought that was going to be a super good chip because it was like right on line. Terribly filmed putt, and I miss it. This hole is pretty much all uphill. It's like downhill and uphill. It's an optical illusion. And uh, underwhelming hole. Missed my drive. My drive was way back there. Hit it to the 150. And this is probably why people don't love Brentwood is just what happened to me here. So this is a cool concept where there's just bunkers protecting this green. As usual, I come up like a foot or so short. So I thought I had this, didn't have it. And then this is the bunker I'm playing out of. And that was like a legendary good shot for like what I hit out of. I think I don't even know what I hit out of. And I just picked up my ball. We'll call that a par. Par 5. This is one of the strongest holes on the course, I believe. It's a dogleg right. It just allows you to really swing hard. And it's probably one of the most protected holes in terms of trees protecting houses, which I feel like is something you should think about at this course because you can definitely hit a house. So my ball actually got stopped by a leaf or a leaf rested on it. I took a pitching wedge and took a different strategy to this hole. I figured... I'd do driver, and then after I found my yardage and it was a big carry, I went pitching wedge, pitching wedge in, and it actually played out pretty good. So maybe I should start thinking about holes like that. Leave a comment if you've ever done that and that worked out for you. This is a really cool forced carry. In probably days where they had more money, it was probably an elegant hole because it's just a really, really neat-looking hole. This is what I had for birdie, and I drilled it. So that was a pretty good feeling getting a birdie on a scenic hole there's a nice overview in between these holes now i got lucky on this hole i didn't take the big dog out and if i had of i probably would have put it into the water this is a layup so i hit three wood and it was the perfect shot three wood left me about 80 90 yards in and then i just hit this too well i tried to take a little something off of it because I knew I didn't want to be short, and I didn't know if I could fully get there with a sand wedge, so I just took a little something off of a gap wedge and went a little further than I wanted to, but I'm trying to become a smarter player. I don't know if I'll ever become a better player, but smart will help. And then I hit a good putt, and it just was a little too low, but that was a really good putt from where I was. And I gave myself a good chance at birdie, and that was good speed and everything. And then I just knocked this in, and that's a par. So this is probably one of the quirky holes. If you hit it past the telephone pole line, you're going to hit like a 350-yard drive because it's all downhill. So I got it all the way to the edge, but I didn't quite get there. And then that basically made it so I couldn't go for the green in two. Really killed that. That was like annihilated. So that was about as far as I could hit that. I'm not sure how far that went. And then I had very little into this green. Well protected. Lots of bunkers as you hit towards this par 5. And just another good approach. So I think that my wedge game is getting a lot better. So for me, that's a really solid length to have for a birdie. Just didn't quite hit it, but I'll take it. Back-to-back -back pars, let's go me. I'm pretty proud of myself right there, so that's good. This is a short par four, and when I was playing this, some locals were just like walking around, and that was kind of sick too. They were just like walking and hanging out on the hole. It was like giving me a little Scottsdale vibes, you know, 
hitting shots for the crowd. Short hole, it's like 270, 280, and I didn't catch all of my shot and put it into this bunker. And this was a nightmare. So this is the sand I'm playing out of. I think I've been rushing a lot of my swings lately, probably because I have a lot on my mind. And it literally rests right behind that tree. So it's like, now I got to hit out. Then I hit that shot. And that was just goofy. That was really goofy. So for like a short par four, I got myself into a lot of trouble with not a terrible drive. And then I missed that comebacker. So that was kind of a bummer because like I was really excited with my position off the tee and then I didn't make much of it. Pretty cool visual uh, par three right here. Just missed it a little bit been missing out right which is actually kind of better because i've been missing left a lot and then this chip was so good i need to hit more chips like that i just hit it so well and there we go last hole i'm so glad i didn't hit this driver well because if i had to hit it well i think i would have put it into the lake but i didn't hit it well so it hit the rough and slowed down and that's kind of like the water that's why i was saying like that's a little gr this hole the water on this hole is pretty gross, so just an FYI, like if your ball goes in, just let it go in. See that rough caught me right before I probably would have gotten to like that water area. And then I just hit a good shot there. So, yeah, that's that gross water, so I hope that gets fixed one day. And that's what you're hitting over. And then I was a little short. I think the rough either caught my club or I think I hit the ball further than I really do. Hit a pretty solid chip up there. And then this is a great way to finish out a round to want you to play more golf. Just a really good putt. I knew it went in. Thank you for watching this vlog. I appreciate anyone who contributes or subscribes or even likes a video. This is a passion project and I'm just trying to do the best I can.